All right, I'm here with former Representative Josh Cockroft, and uh, I'm curious, we've been talking to a lot of new lawmakers coming into office uh, in the last few weeks. What's this like for you, kind of watching from the outside in? Kind of makes me wish I hadn't left the legislature, for one thing. Uh, no, but I, I think what we're seeing is a, a, an overwhelming positive response um, and enthusiasm. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of tough issues that Oklahoma's facing, um, even with the, the positivity and the enthusiasm, but I think Governor Stitt has uh, the, the right vision and is going to put some things into place that I think the legislature is excited to work alongside with him. The, the communication that I've, uh, I've have heard of that's already started, I think, um, I think we're on the right path. Now, you know as well as anyone that once a session gets going, challenges can, can pop up, even ones you didn't expect. But it's been a tough last few years for the legislature. And you kind of jokingly said you wish you were still in. But is there part of you that's serious? Because, you know, the budget seems to be rebounding. There, you know, a new governor coming in. Um, things may be, I say may, sure. may be a little easier for the legislature. Uh, it sounds like you did all the hard work and, and now you know there's going to be a lot of newbies here to kind yeah. of benefit from that. Well, uh, we, we've had to make some very tough decisions the last several years. Um, and it's, you know, from the outside looking in now, um, I'm excited for the new legislature. I think uh, with as large of a freshman class, they're kind of reaping some of the benefits of some of those uh, tough decisions. But at the same time, I think they're ready to work. I think they're ready to make some of those hard decisions that they're going to have to make. Um, but I, I think overall that um, they're excited and the state of Oklahoma is excited to see where, where the next couple of years take us. And finally, you know, one of the big issues this year is government reform. Part of that is uh, Governor Stitt would like some more powers right. uh, over agency heads, uh, some accountability and transparency measures that legislative leaders are, are pushing forward. It sounds all well and good, sure. and it sounds right up the alley of Republican lawmakers, and Republicans have the majority, but where do the challenges lie for the legislature in trying to get some of those you know, big reform measures done this year? Anytime you talk about reform, you're going to run into a, 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 so to speak, wall of opposition just because of the status quo, the way things have always been done. And I think that's what's important about Governor Stitt, being a complete outsider, as he calls himself, someone who's never held political office before. I think uh, there are going to be some challenges for him, learning how everything works, the process works, but at the same time, I think it's a tremendous advantage because he's looking at things from an outsider's perspective, a businessman's perspective, and, and, and voicing a lot of the frustrations, like we heard about in his uh, inaugural speech today, uh, talking about some of the frustrations that's he, that he's felt as a citizen. So I think there's some tremendous advantages of having someone who's never held public office before. Sure, he's going to have some challenges along the way, but I think his enthusiasm and his willingness to work uh, with lawmakers, work with uh, our agency heads, I think you're going to start to see some positive reforms being put into place and uh, hopefully get the ball rolling a little bit. Well, former Representative Josh Cockroft, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy Thank yourself you. tonight. Thank, Thank you. you.